This is an adaptation of the open access paper Optimal Scheduling of Merchant-Owned Energy Storage Systems with Multiple Ancillary Services. Section 2. Maximizing Overall Profit of Ease Operation. This section presents the details of the problem formulation of maximizing the overall profit of ease operation with multiple ancillary services. A problem statement. The problem is stated as maximizing the net profit, which is defined as the difference between the ease revenues and the total costs of the ease. The problem considers revenues from energy arbitrage and four ancillary services, voltage regulation support, frequency regulation support, reserve power, and black start support. In addition, the study considers the ease costs as threefold, the investment cost, the operation and maintenance cost, and the asset depreciation cost. The optimization problem is subject to the techno-economic constraints which ensure the feasibility of ease operation. Ease model. The technical and market models shown in Figure 1 were used for developing the mathematical scheduling formulation presented in Section 3.C. See problem formulation. 1. Objective function. The energy storage merchant schedules ease to maximize annual profit. The first five terms of the objective function are the revenues from frequency regulation, energy arbitrage, voltage regulation, reserve power and black start support. They can be written as given in 2, 6. It is assumed that annual price forecasts of services are available for planning and ease is a price taker. Some electrical jurisdictions have a two-stage payment system for frequency regulation service. They have two different prices, one for regulation capacity and one for regulation performance. We have considered one price for frequency regulation ancillary, RFR, combining the above two prices and considering the fact that ease can follow the system operator's regulation signal accurately. The remaining three terms are cost values with respect to operation and maintenance cost, annualized investment cost, and asset depreciation cost of the ease. They can be written as follows in 7, 9, in 7, the fixed operation and maintenance cost is C. 3. It includes cost items such as cleaning and annual inspections. The total power loss increases, and the cooling requirement increases, and hence the operation cost increases linearly. The operation and maintenance costs also increase due to high use, cycling, of the ease. The investment cost is equally distributed for each quarter throughout the ease lifespan. The sum of the cost over four quarters gives the annual investment cost, AIC, 8. Quarterly costs were considered to improve the accuracy of the results based on the life loss of ease. For example, it is incorrect to reduce one year from the life or the amortization due to a month of life loss. The factor AQ must be pre-calculated using the general amortization factor formula with quarterly discount rates. Based on the selected AQ investment cost is equally distributed to all quarters throughout the lifespan. The binary variable B2Q is used for selecting the lifespan, it is unity for the selected lifespan quarter and zero for all other quarters. For example, if the life of the ease is 25 quarters, B2, 25 equals 1. The ADC considers the general depreciation of the asset value. The degradation of energy storing, megawatt hours, capacity due to cycling, is considered for ADC. In most types of ease, this is negligible. It is assumed that the energy capacity is linearly related to the number of cycles operated within a year, 9, as illustrated in Figure 2. The ease degradation due to high DOD operations and related lifetime loss has not been considered in 9. Later, it is modeled as a constraint in 26. This is an adaptation of the open access paper. Optimal scheduling of merchant-owned energy storage systems with multiple ancillary services. Shake us up.